mean, and not if I can help it. Can you still see it? No. The hag's gift is gone, but it's it's going to happen soon. I saw you screaming, covered in your own insides, as that that thing bursts out of your skull. Oh, I wonder about, what about the door? Skin ripping from your body, and then you butcher everyone. What about the statue? Everyone. There's no more statue anymore. We destatued it already. Yeah, when will this happen? I, I don't know. It could be a ten day. Could be any moment. I can't do this. You're too dangerous. I'm. I'm sorry. You're gonna try to kill me? No. He's just running away. Okay. No, that's fine. Oh, but the um, the door is gone. Yeah, the, uh, the, the statue's gone. Alright, yeah, we could clear out the red caps, but... I think what's gonna happen now is we're gonna go to the Druid Grove. Now, before I talk to anyone else and progress the story, I'm gonna try to go talk to the blacksmith or Karlak. I wonder if you let the people leave before you ever get a chance to talk to that blacksmith at Karlak, are you screwed or is there like more blacksmiths available somewhere else? You fix the mirror. Let's do a heart save here for a second. Get close myself. A scout just reported the goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. So this gets locked in no I matter what. You are the one to thank. I'm grateful. Another knack too? Okay, good. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. You're damn right I did. Eh. Honestly, we we don't really need the money. Again, there's I, f I feel like there's some subtle corruption going on with Dell. But for something like this, he'd be like, no, no, you can, you can keep your corn. First of all, we actually do have a lot of money. And secondly, they're going to need it. I don't know of the people in my party right now who's going to think... Asterion will probably disapprove. Karlak will probably approve. Shadowheart is hard to tell with her sometimes. If we had Will, he'd probably approve. I'm going to say you can keep your coin. Very good of you. Wait, no one? Thank you. Really? How sin will like no reaction? to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. What does what How Sin know? Us. No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Oh, yeah. I think we did see this last stream, and then we reverted to, like, not do this. Um, Let's go right away. No, we'll see you there. Because what we're uh, hoping for... We did it. Come on. Remember, Give me a kiss. Over here. Oh, it's Mattis. I'll kiss you when you stop bleeding, you lummox. I'm your lummox. Yes, you are. Now, stop squirming. What is... Oh! Oh, Balamar, thank you! Balamar's joke of the day. Why is a necromancer not always a bad guy? Because sometimes they just want to raise a family in peace. <laughs> thank you, Balamar! So it's true. <laughs> I don't think I've heard that one before. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. Excuse me. I I'm just glad I could help. As am I. That's I'm good. Sure Raise a family in peace. Thanks, Balmar. Does anyone else think Quill's character looked like if Mel Gibson played Legolas? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Cell wears. Cell wears. Oh, I can't use uh, F1 through F4 here to uh, quickly swap characters. Okay. I don't think you've got anything new to buy in terms of magic or anything like that. You might have some potions. They're always down at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if these are as useful anymore. Mostly just... 
I mean, they're so cheap. We do have a lot of cash. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take them. They're they're nice. May you keep balance. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm just hoping the blacksmith hasn't actually packed up yet. I didn't see him over there, although. Oh, there. Okay, good. As I say, I don't see the vendor icon anymore. Hey, um. Oh, she's not making her stew anymore. I was gonna say. I was like, should I tell this lady? Unless, wait, is she a hag too? Or have they both been hags this whole time? Let me visit the bar girl again. Great question, Persian. We should check. Thought I sensed an infernal around here. But you aren't from Elturel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. Oh, Stew Lady was Auntie Ethel. Okay, who was the potion lady next to her then? Glad you got out. I'm confused between the two. I got areas. lucky. It looks like you did too. And. Because there's the Stew Lady and there's a potion lady. And I thought the potion lady was with Ethel. A little gift from Zariel. Right. Keeps me burning hot. In this armor, we can't actually see her infernal engine burning. Smell of it. Might be burning out a piston oh. ring. No, Stu Lady's not Ethel. Ethel's a potion lady. Okay. What if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close. So I, I was right. And chat was wrong. Or I was wrong and half the chat is wrong anyway. <laughs> potion lady was Ethel. Stu Lady was someone else. You, you really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together... Tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help, but I'd need infernal iron and a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. I have two sets that of infernal thing iron. Isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running. In this right. armor, not the not the most useful close-up. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first, but help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Hey, soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I give it to him? You know, if I had gone straight to Auntie Ethel's, because you like meet her very early, right? You come to this grove, you're, you're probably level two still. You meet Auntie Ethel. If we had beelined right there, could you imagine us trying to take on that hag at level two? Blah. We barely did it at level four. He's <laughs> like, no, I'd like to know what the iron, infernal iron is worth. You know what? I'd rather not cure your like literal ticking time bomb of a nuclear furnace inside your chest. I don't want to do that because I might make a few bucks. I'm like, no, no, absolutely. Let's see what we can do. Although I do kind of wish we'd toggle off the armor and just had you in your camp clothes or something like that for this. Please let this work. Mm. Tried the hag at level three, it wasn't pretty. The yeah, I bet. And that blaze of chaos. Oh, maybe, I mean, maybe there's dynamic leveling I too. This I don't know. where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't yeah, think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. I do keep wondering, as much as I like Asterion for lots of reasons, I keep talking about it. Good. Keep talking about splashing Looks one level of rogue in the shadow heart. Hole, but I feel less... Just to give her expertise in sleight of hand and stealth. Changeable. And then swapping Cheers, a stare in for Gale. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket 
any infernal iron you find along the way. Hmm? Cool. Now, I don't suppose you got some hand crossbows, do you? I wasn't sure. I wish I had better. But this is all I have. So, uh... Oh, he does. He does have one to plus one. Apparently, one thing you can do is you can check him again between long rests, or even when you level. If you've got it, your character's ready to level up. Apparently, one of the things you can check his inventory, level up one character, check again. Um, level up one character, check again, that sort of thing. Just because I'm wondering about a pair of hand crossbows for Asterion. Because uh, that would give him an extra option with his bonus action. Although, I guess his bonus action is often going to be used just to re-stealth. Right? Stealth shoot, or shoot then stealth as the bonus, rather than doing an offhand attack. Although, sometimes he will. Like, it's got lower base things. Like, if we check here, right, with Asterion. Right? This is a d10 plus 3. And this is only a d6. Or, sorry, d10... It, the pluses, it's just a, it's a plus one from the base thing. So it's D10 plus one, D10 plus, or D6 plus one. And then he's getting an extra plus three because of his dexterity. Um, so the difference between the two isn't that substantial because it's an average of four point, sorry, 3.5 damage versus 5.5 damage. So the uh, light crossbow on average does two points of damage more than the hand crossbow. Um... Oh, wait, no, we do want to use the uh, the bear crossbow with him. The reason is, once he gets to... Once he unlocks Assassin... Oh, that's pretty far in the future. But once we do unlock Assassin, then his um, opening round sneak attack or whatever isn't like an auto crit, or that'll come from the Gloomstalker. He's going to get something that's going to make his like sneak attack thing in the opening round auto crit. In which point, we, the higher base die is good. Because we'll get the full 10 from the D10 as opposed to the full 6 from the D6. I and mean, then it's still only four points of damage difference. Is there a range difference between these two weapons? Oh, there is! 18 meters versus 15. Again, not the biggest, but it is something. And I guess the uh, the lighter crossbow, that's also the one that we can brace to be able to roll the damage die twice, which is really nice on a D10. Ah, oh, but Blissey makes a great point. If you go sharpshooter which we are planning, better dual hand crossbow with the extra flat damage. You're right, because we'll be doing a flat plus 10 damage. Yeah, I mean, we'll still need a second hand crossbow. I think I'm gonna buy it, it's not very expensive, 169. Oh yeah, yeah. should be saving these bronze and silver ingots. I guess I don't need the money right now, so may as well. Poison apples. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of those. Maybe there's some funky things you can do with them. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'll save them. I believe I, I remember reading that there's a hind crossbow that can be found in the Blighted Village or something like that. We also have to go back to the Goblin Village. Just, like, the, 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 the temple, the Goblin base, outside. I haven't seen that since we cleared out the insides. Just check. Wasn't too far from the grove yet. The stew lady is called Okta. Oh, I saw Okta on our way in. That's who that was. Okay. Oh, I might keep her barbarian clothing because it's really cool. Uh, I don't know. Do we... Oh. Do we keep the vision in the absolute? I don't know. Maybe for a little bit longer. Sure, why not? I don't know if this is the magic ball or not. Oh. I don't want to accidentally pick that up. Still have Lump's Warhorn. I'm probably never going to use it. I'll probably have it in my inventory for the entire game, afraid to use it. Because that's the way it goes. I don't know what to do with these. I'll probably send them to my camp or something. I don't think we'll ever need them. He has two hand crossbows plus one? Does he? 
is a light crossbow. Is a light crossbow plus one. Um, Dothraki, I don't see... Light, light, light. Light. He has not an action one. Does he? Be nice if this was searchable or filterable. I don't think I'm wrong this time in that it's not. Okay, although in trade screen, we can filter to equipment, but it's still a crack ton of stuff. It, uh, his, his inventory randomizes, by the way. Oh, you can't use lumps harm after act one. Okay. So these are light crossbows and then a light crossbow that's magic over here. So if you may have seen him have different inventory before, but it does, it does summon randomize or something. Make time or luck twist your way. All right, let's go down here. We're going to check, take a look at the bard first, and then we're going to follow up on Halston. And I believe we have a brain, uh, um, um, are you not going to Baldur's Gate, Strange Ox? You were all excited about going to Baldur's Gate. Yeah, we have a mind worm to pick up in there, too. Moo. Yes, yes, Moo. You're still not willing to say anything else? All right, be that way. Oh, Karlak, exclamation mark. Mm, it's not there anymore. Oh, did I move too far? Another visit from the Golden Paladin. What? It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Who? What? That her guardian? Wait, what? I guess it's... I wouldn't have called mine the golden paladin unless she has her own guardian. You need to be discreet to get into the heart of cult. These powers might help. And she did tell the guard. My guardian did say to use the power to do it. I oh, know. Let's let's do it. Indeed. She doesn't like the idea of talking about the mind worm. Sounds like all we need to fix your engine is to find some infernal iron, so which we have one seems. more. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters: tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. How do you like the upgrade to your engine? Oh yeah, someone said I should check some uh, stats I'm just here. I'm happy to know someone can do something about this little situation. Thought I was alone, but I'm not, am I? With your help and Damon's, I might be able to get a little more control over this thing. None too soon either. It's starting to wear me out a bit. Heart of Iron. Infernal engine that is Karlak's heart is burning more evenly. She has advantage on saving throws against being charmed. Well, that sounds very useful. Very well. I mean, hopefully she doesn't save against being charmed by me. Oh. You imperiled the grove. How dare you even look me in the eye? Oh, we're getting the showdown here. If I had to, pity you don't see that. I thought I had been a good teacher to you. Clearly not. All right, we're just gonna walk in. Oh, I expected a cutscene to immediately start. Hold on, if that's not gonna happen. One moment. How are you going to the path of the harpies again? Get a special cutscene there. Do you really? Oh, she's gone. Oh, who this? Are you always there? I don't think his so. His leaves to shade you, his branches to point your oh, path. She's over by the gate. Oh. His shelter to protect you. I walk by her. Thank you. You're super welcome, buddy. Hang on. Let's just walk down here, see if it does trigger a cutscene, and then we'll uh, we'll head back. That's not coming. You you'd seen it by now. Okay. Maybe you did you did things differently in your story, and then it led to that. All right, come 
back, people. Got a little yellow dot there. I'm just going to pen back over here just to see if I get a yellow dot over here that I might have missed as an NPC. Answer seems to be no. Oh, the gate at, like, the front door of the base is what you mean. Okay. You will make peace with all who shelter here. It is the will of Sylvanus. Sylvanus would not command us to invite rot into our midst. Oh, child. You have drifted far from the Oak Father's teachings. All right. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Also, instead, she almost killed a kid. Listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you. And depending nothing. on what you do, she can. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay, but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Helsin. It is a shame that we, because of the order we did things in, we weren't able to see her meeting in the swamp. Because I'm betting this would have changed things over here. I'll tried to imprison a child, or worse. Have hands full with her, she shows great spirit, put it mildly. No need to be so harsh, Kaga acted out of concern. You're too lenient, there's bad blood between tieflings and druids because of her. Or, druid! Is such mercy wise? She strayed from her teachings once already. I'm going to go with that. She knows now what cavorting in the shadows brings her. She will not stray again. I mean... Besides, this is no time to lose a promising druid. You will soon see why. I did read some letters. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in and your not death. Not through. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. The drove is nature's beating heart. I was glad to help save it. If only you. Would this is our element, Rindell. One place where he feels more confident. Might still be wrong. You'd have been a welcome but... addition. Yeah. What about my problem? I need help. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. After a long rest. The grove. How dare you even look me in the eye? I'd be air hands different. A pity you don't see oh, older. I thought I had been a good teacher to you. Clearly not. I wonder if Wrath is indoors. We're gonna go inside anyway. Maybe. Okay, there's Wrath there, but hold on. Um, Nettie's in there, so theoretically, no witnesses over here. So we can actually take that line. A parasite. Take. Yeah, right, the boar. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to the boar and Great the bears. Always room for more. Oh, it immediately goes here. I don't have to, like, do the manual um, consume. Alright, so we're gonna add it. We're gonna add in Sonic Backlash. So when an enemy within 9 meters of me casts a spell, you can use a reaction to inflict 1d4 psychic damage to the caster per the spell's level, hopefully ruining some concentrations and doing fun things like that. Da -da 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 -da. I like how like the brain tissue is dying here. And talk to Nettie. I have something to ask. Blessed day. Oh, her bird's up! I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. You kept your word. Thank you. It's just like they didn't swig that poison. You're very welcome. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanus's peace to this place, but I'll have the chance. Thanks to you. Oh, yeah, it did reveal the power. Hold the weak. Toggle a passable feature. When you bring a creature down to fewer hit points than your number of evolved lithid powers, it dies, and all nearby creatures take one to four second damage. Well, I mean two, so when we bring it I have to tidy this below two, 
So something at one HP will instantly die instead. Yeah, we might make a move towards Luck of the Farm Realms next. Might we'll see. Time for another. 